How did this... <laughs> turn into this? Does Stitch have to go in the ship? Yes... Can Stitch say goodbye? The evil genius Jumba Jukiba designed his 626th experiment to be ruthless and destructive, but through 626's exposure to Lilo, he appears to transform his behavior and become almost like a new creature. How could this vile abomination, programmed to end worlds, transform into a hula dog? Hello, I'm Isaac from Wanso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to try to determine why 626 became Stitch. Experiment 626 was designed to be pure evil. With abilities to spare, he was meant to cause chaos everywhere he went. His only instinct to destroy everything he touches! <laughs> and that's exactly what he did. He broke himself out of a United Galactic Federation cell, stole a police cruiser, and used the hyperdrive to get as far away as he could. With the Federation on his tail, Stitch kept a low profile under the watchful eye of a local girl, Lilo, but continued to break, smash, and destroy everything in his path. But this could only go on for so long. Although there was still all of Kawaii to eradicate, he suddenly stopped breaking apart the world. Stitch realized there was no meaning to his life when he looked around at the remnants of his destruction. 626 was designed to be a monster, but now he has nothing to destroy. What must it be like to have nothing? Not even memories to visit in the middle of the night. Why did this perfect monster suddenly stop? Why did he change? Jumba has designed unstoppable creatures. Experiment 627, aka Evil, the revealed but never witnessed Experiment 628, and Leroy were all incorruptible monsters. They would not stop their destruction for anyone, and these creatures would break down any world they traveled to. But Stitch stopped after ravaging a little girl's room. It doesn't make any sense. Although Stitch may have been Jumpa's first experiment to break away from his programming, he wasn't the last. Hundreds of Stitch's cousins turned to become good and now use their abilities to benefit the world around them. Jumbo must have done something inherently wrong with these experiments, because if they were meant to be unstoppable monsters, then they shouldn't have been easily swayed away from their instincts. But maybe Stitch was meant to be the first perfect monster, but he just wasn't finished. After forming his newest creation, the Federation police came to Jumbo's lab to arrest him, and in doing so shut down 626's molecular charging. When Stitch was brought before the Galactic Federation, he was not the perfected monster Jumbo had envisioned. Maybe if the molecular charging would have been completed, he would have remained the monster we originally saw him to be. But we'll never be for certain if this is the difference between Stitch and the other incorruptible monsters. Regardless of why he differed from Jumbo's other projects, the reason he was different is because he had a sense of humanity within him. He could think faster than any advanced alien civilization supercomputer, which when paired with a large curiosity meant Stitch was able to step back and do something no other experiment could do on their own. He questioned his purpose. Stitch stopped what he was doing, looked around, and didn't know why he was performing those actions. He began to look for answers, and when he came across the ugly duckling, he needed Lilo to explain what he couldn't comprehend. Stitch learned of family, and felt that was what he needed to find. But when he was searching, Jumba told him the truth. Ah, you don't have one. I made you. Stitch was crushed. He thought he knew what would give his life meaning, but again he discovered the world was not that simple. Stitch ventured back to Lilo, knowing she was the only one to ever support and love him, but he only complicated and continued to break her world. When she was seized by Gantu, Stitch was unwilling to sit idly by and let her be taken, for she helped him discover a world beyond his programming. In a way, Stitch never really changed. He only became aware of his actions. Interactions and relationships in the world led Stitch to introspectively analyze his life and determine he was destroying everything around him for no reason. Through his friendship with Lilo, he discovered a family, learned he did not have to be a monster, and found his purpose. This video was sponsored by my patrons over at Patreon. Patreon is a voluntary pledge service where you can support creators like me. So if you are interested in donating to help grow the channel, check out the page at patreon.com slash videos. If you'd like to continue to theorize on Stitch, then I'll leave the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description of this video. So now it's time for your thoughts. Why do you think Stitch was a unique experiment? Do you think this is why 626 became Stitch? And what is your favorite experiment? Let me know in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes.
If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, then remember to subscribe to watch our videos and click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.